Okay, this is the new Kroll um, boiler controller. Uh, it features um, what we can see is top left displaying 23 degrees is the um, LAE uh, boiler controller programmable thermostat. This particular controller has been fitted up for a customer and um, the top right's got one of the uh, Will High um, thermostats to control this particular customer's um, pool temperature for his uh, pool heat exchanger. Of course, just coming in here, that's our standard um, safety thermostat to um, shut everything down if there's a problem. And what's kind of new here is we've got the uh, down counter, which is um, a new device that um, will automatically uh, provide restarts and limit the amount of uh, automatic restarts um, to the burner gun controller. Right there you can see the Brahma controller and uh, the flame failure button we can see is on and it's been provided an automatic restart by our um, control box down the bottom. Okay, what we got is the uh, Cestos timer bottom left hand corner, the red light, um, the red display set to number five, which is the PV or present value. And the set value is the green below that of uh, six. And right now, the timer which was blinking has reset the Brahma uh, GR2 burner simulator up the top. Its flame failure button is on. We go back down the bottom, you'll notice that the PV value has dropped to four. The time is blinking away at us. It's set to about 30 seconds. The green lead on the relay on the right hand side of that is pretty much powered by the flame failure button. So bang, the um, reset, automatic reset has just been applied and the cycle continues. The uh, present value is now dropped down to three. Um, there's a delay timer happening here of about 30 seconds. It starts blinking in about another 30, about another 10 seconds. The GR2 we will see will be will be uh, reset by the um, controller box below it, and there you go. So the gun's attempting to start up. We've got the line on, and so on. So of course with this simulator we're deliberately getting it to uh, fail reignition or restart all the time but this time I'll let the automatic controller down below give it the automatic reset. Now I'll cover up the photovoltaic cell or the photoelectric cell and the GR2 uh, simulator or burner gun simulator fitted with the BR GR2 uh, Brahma controller Ignition's on, motor's on, line's on. There'll be uh, a purge delay here of about 15 to 18 seconds and then we'll see the oil neon will come on soon. When that happens, I'll release the photovoltaic. There you go. And the little old controller there thinks that everything's honky-dory because the um, photoelectric cell here is picking up light so so we've uh, filled the controller into thinking we've got a a nice flame in our combustion chamber so again this time looking down the bottom the Cestos uh, counter is on two so that means it'll just have two more resets and then it'll force the um, it'll force the um, the user of uh, our new controller down the bottom here to um, it won't do any automatic resets anymore so I'll just looking back up the top here we'll force it to go into a fail mode so the oil stopped as soon as I did that you can see the oil stopped 
and what I'll do is I'll take my hand off the photoelectric cell and we go into a flame failure and the cycle starts again. The Cestos counter decrements down to one so it'll just do one more reset and this time we'll let it get down to uh, a zero on the present value. There you go. And the cycle will go on but this time the our down counter won't permit the reset back to the controller so this is forcing the customer using or the user using our new controller down the bottom here uh, it, it um, means that the burner gun will have um, six opportunities set by that uh, green number six there the set value six opportunities in this case uh, to do restarts and pretty much after that it'll just sit there forever until the client comes up and sees hey we've got a, a flame failure here um, the present value is down to zero and what the customer should do is um, investigate the problem so the customer might then choose to restart so I'll just do that here and the only way to restart is by hitting the um, RST or restart or reset button on the Cestos counter and we'll see that and if I can get the finger my finger in there or my thumb in there to push that button which is a lot harder than it sounds with reset the present value now from six and it's immediately gone to five and the cycle continues again and we blink away so now it's having another another six attempts to uh, do automatic restarts so the whole idea of the Cestos counter is to prevent any damage to the uh, the burner gun being controlled uh, by uh, multiple, multiple uh, automatic restart attempts. Okay.